What's up everyone? Welcome, I'm Big Bug. So Euro Fishing's finally come to the PS4 and we have got it. It's been out on the Xbox and PC for ages and they finally put it to the PS4, so thank God for that. I'm going to be really quick about this. This is what's in my tackle box. The reason I'm going to be quick, it's like anything, I can't wait to go fishing. So basically I'm carrying the Calder Dumbbells, let's uh, click on this. The Calder Dumbbells in 12mm, Calder Dumbbells in 8mm, the Pop-Up Tigers. I've not got a hook big enough really to use 20mm Tigers, but we'll see how we get on. Right, let's go to single player. Freedom fishing. Uh, yep. Okay, let's um, let's spawn. Now these are spawn points, as you can see here. So let's spawn now. I've not fished at this end of the lake before. Now on the game, they specifically say you need to walk around and have a look what's going on. So let's just uh, speed walk this. Can I go this way? Am I going the wrong way? Looks like there's swims down there. Is it going to let me go down there? Oi. Alright, let's go back back up here. There's a couple of... These are swims, what we call swims. I like that. They're a nice little breeded area there. Got fish bubbling in front of us. Now, it does say you've got to look for fish that are bubbling or sort of active in some way. So, let's set up here. I've not fished here before on this particular swim, so it should be interesting. Right, let's go to rod three, because that's the one I'm going to fish to the right. Now, I do like fishing rods close together, but for this swim, I'm going to put one over there, one there, and probably one out there. See all them bubbles and bits coming up in the water in the distance? And jumping fish, that's where we're going to put it. That's probably small fish, but... Right, let's have a look what we got then. So let's use the Silt Calder IQD rig size 10. I'm going to put on a 12mm dumbbell with that. Yeah, I think that could be the way forward. Right, let's move this. Now you can't fish down that end, so I'm kind of feeling that we should get this rig right down there if we can. There you go. Now that yellow symbol shows me it's on silt. So if it turns to rocks, it'll be like stone looking, like little stones. And if it's on weed, it'll be, you'll see it, it's green. But there's not much weed in here to be fair. Uh, no, I don't want to cast. Reset that. Right, so we're going to use the dumbbell and the size 10 again. Size 10 is the biggest hook I've got at the moment. You have to unlock everything as you're going along by earning um, sort of TP points as it was. Right, that's on the silt. We'll just randomly chuck that out there. Nice. Right, let's get rod number one. I want to put this one over there. Oh, got a take already. Nice. Let's get that one over there. Okay, okay. Wow, that was quick. Wasn't expecting it to be quite as quick as that. Ah, oh, oh, it come off, look. Damn it. Okay, no worries. Right, let's get that one straight back over there. Come off that one. Damn shame. Right. There we go. Got to be a bit quicker on that rod, I think. All right. We'll see how we get on on this spot and see what happens. There's my bivvy. Yeah. Looks like a TFG false eight, I think they were them type of bivvies. That's what it looks like. Got my bait bucket there. My bag. Nice. My little setup. <laughs> Delkim Alarms. Oh, can I change to... Oh, yeah, look, there you go. First person. I've not played it in first person. Should we try? Oh. 
Pick the rod up. It's that third one again. Give this fish some side strain. Keep him out. Oh, easy. Got to be careful. That that indicator on the left there is if it's going to break. So, got to be a little bit careful of that. <clears throat> it's trying to walk up the bank, this fish. All right, here we go. Come on. Don't go in there. No. Give him a little bit of stick to get him out. Not too much because it will snap you up. When I first started playing this game uh, last night when it was released for the PS4, um, I was getting so many break-offs I couldn't understand what was going on. you got to really balance how you reel to... All right. Like my pink reels. I upgraded my reels. I didn't realise they were pink. Not the one. But we're trying to save up for our rods. And then our uh, sort of bigger reels as it was. Come on. Come on. Come to Big Bug. You know you want to. Hmm, this could be an interesting little fish. This. It's not really run any, any distance. It's not shot off. The big cat I had went, took me 150 metres out, so. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, got another run. Number two's belting off. An absolute screamer. I don't want to lose this one now. This one's fighting quite good now. Wow, that rod's screaming off. Come on. This one does not want to come in. This better be something worthwhile. If this is a roach, I'm going to complain. All right, netted it. Number two still smashing it. Oh, look at that. That'll do. Nice mirror. I didn't think it was as big as that. £20, 8 ounces. Very nice. Put it straight back. Let's get that number two rod. Number one's off as well now. Look at number two right over there. Wow. Number one is absolutely roaring off now. This ain't very big. This is a deadly one. Ah. Uh, Snapped it off. There you go. Get on number one straight away. That was only a small one that come off there. Come on, real. Oh, oh, this this could be bigger. Oh, just lower the uh, the spool there. Let it take like this could be a good fish. This isn't coming in. It's not doing anything. Oh, it's going round now. I need to give him some side strain. He's going round the corner. This could be a good fish, guys. I'm not gaining any ground on him. Come on. Come to Big Bug. I bet it ain't. I bet it's a brain. <laughs> After all that, this could be. It's coming a bit easier than I thought it would, actually. Oi, get out of them reeds. There we go. Oh, it looks like a little carp. 
Nice carp. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Nice dark sort of oaky looking or oh, hazelnutty linear. 18 pounds. So it'll do nicely. Right, let's sort these rods out. So I've got number one on. Okay. Let's get number one back out there. Nice cast. Nice showing fish there then. Number two. Alright, put number two straight out there. It's better when you fish three rods close together because when you spot you can um keep keep all your baited area close. But on this swim, because I want to fish one up up the margin here. Get a big chuck down the down to the reeds. Nice, we'll take that. Alright. Whoa, look at that. Showing fish all over. Let's get the spot out. Now the spot, I've not quite mastered the spot yet, but we will. We will. Is that far enough? Now this is what we use to deliver the bait, guys. There we go. I'll we'll just clip that up. Now we'll just leave it there for a second. Let it unload its sort of payload, its bait as it was. Alright, nice. Let's do that again. Now I've put it in the clip this time, so... Hopefully it won't ping back too hard. Oh, oh, number one is off. Give him some bait. Seems to have done the trick. Nice, what we got here then? It's coming in. 30 yards distance. Come on. I'd say with this one. Don't want to give it too much in case I break the line. Especially as this game likes to be cruel. When you look at your sort of profile, it tells you, oh, you've lost the boss fish, by the way. And you're like, <laughs> Oh, Fish boshing out all over the place over here. I wish I had them bigger rods get a little bit further. Come on. Oh, another take. I'm going to lose that one, I can tell. Come on. This one's under my tip. I don't want to lose it now. Number two is absolutely screaming. Come on! Oh, number three's gone for what? Wow. It's just not enough arms and legs. Oh, it's a catfish. Nice little cat. Come on, let's see the size of it. 19 pound. Put that one back. Pick the other rod up, number two. That was the one that went. Sort of first as it was. Wow. What a session. If only fishing was like this for real. Uh, swimming towards me, so I'm not too sure about this one. But if there's cats in the area, that's good. Might get a chance of one of those bigger cats. Don't want to lose it right at the rod tip. Oh, it's tearing the bottom up. Look at all that. Disturbing the bottom. Come on. Stop bleeping. We're trying. Nice. Got it, got it, got it. Nice little carp. 
Sweet. Get in the net. Nice little common cup. £11. Right, let's get that third rod. That's all three rods gone off. Straight after the cast. Nice fish boshing out there. Here we go. Right. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be particularly big. Wow, it's fish boshing out right in front. Oh, easy. Fish smashing out right in front of me. Look at that. What a monster. <laughs> well, not what we came for, but they're all welcome all the same. They all help with the uh, TP points because for each fish you get points. Can't believe that roach gave me a run as strong as that, though. Right, let's throw that down there. That'll do nicely. Rod number two. Where did I see that fish? I think it was about where we're sort of casting, really. Not sure how far out it was exactly, but we're just going to throw this one out here. Nice. That'll do. And rod number one, please. Alright, so we've had we've got a baited area over, <coughs> over here. Oh, abandoned the cast. Went a bit too hard there. Here we go, try again. Oh, no, done it again. Come on, don't do this to me. Really? Should we try that one one more time? Alright, maybe a little bit shorter. Just so I can guarantee the cast. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. Right, nice. On the silt. Lots of silt in this area. Should we see if we... No, it's not going to let us get a spot out. We're on. We're on. That number two. That middle area is doing quite well, to be honest. All right, nice. Oh, let's pull in. Oh, a little bit of slack line now. Don't want to give the fish slack line. That's bad. See if we can uh number three's roaring off as well. This where you need your mate in your swim with you. Just pick your rod up. Come in. No, don't break. Here we go. Lovely little carp. Looks like a linear. Nice. Look at that. Zip lin. Very nice. The fish I'm after in real life looks a bit like that. A bit bigger though, I think. Yeah. 14 pound, that one. All right. Let's get that number three rod. Ooh. Thought it was going to be a good one, but it is coming in, so not a boss, I don't think. Come on, come back this way. Yes, we've turned him. I need to upgrade these reels. Them pink reels are not the one. Come on. Give him a little... Where are you going? Just trying to go up the bank. There we go. Right. Come on. Come on. Come get in the net.
Still playing it. Doesn't want to come in. It's around the eight, seven yards mark. Just don't want to come in. Come on, come on. Yes, get in the net. Right. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a silver colour. Very nice. Common cup. £18. That does nicely. Right, what rod was that? Was that rod 3 or 2? or yeah, 3. Right, so let's put that straight back over there. There we go. Fire that one over there. Nice. And we get rod... Oh, fish showing over there. Very nice. Get that one back out over there. Awesome. Right. Let's see what happens. See if we can get the spot out. Let's do some spotting. Be nice, wouldn't it? Right. Uh, I want to get some spot on number two. Get some bait out there. Is that hard enough? So, come in a bit close, that one. Give it a harder whack this time. Hopefully it won't bounce back too much. Yep, 31 yards. Exactly where we want it. Number one's roared off. It's roared into life. Let's get on it. All right. Now, could this be the good fish that we're after? Could be. Got another one. On one of my other rods. Looks like number two. Just put some bait on that rod as well. Some bait over the top. Take it nice and easy. Still fish showing over there as well. That's a good sign. Just see a bit of a tail or something then. Oh, number three's going there as well. Oh my god, get out of the roots. Come on. No, don't snap me up. Nice, here we go. Oh, it's catfish. Sweet. Don't think it's a very big catfish, but it's catfish. Here we go. £19.13 ounces. Let's get that straight out. Right. Right, what one was next? Number two. Number two is roaring. Look how far out it's gone. 70, 70 meters, yards. Oh, this could be a good fish. Oh, yeah. This could be a good fish. Take this one a bit slow, I think. This, this could be a good fish, guys. Look at it. It's taking line. This could be the one. Then take this one very slow. Look, 100 yards out now. Stop bleeping. Wow, 105. This is just taking line, this one. This could be a good fish, this, guys. Take this one nice and easy. Wow. Wow. 117, 118, 100. Look at that in the bottom left hand corner. It's just taking line off me. I'm going to let it go. I don't want to lose this. I've got a feeling this is one of the big boys. Hopefully, that number three will come off and the bleeping will stop. Be a shame to have that bleeping all the way through the. Uh, 
the fight. 143 metres or yards out now. Look at that. We were fishing at 30 yards. So now we're 150 yards out. Wow. I'm going to take this nice and easy. Just gentle reeling. Shut up, number three. Let's start to ease this, ease this back now. So if we can start gaining some ground on it. 160 metres, ne uh, yards nearly. Sorry, I keep saying metres. I should change it to metres, really. You can change the Imperial setting from yards to metres. Right. If this is a roach... Right, we're gaining some ground on him now. He's coming back. He's still 125 metres out, though. Look at this. Don't want to give him... Shut up, number three. Right. You should have an option where you can stop that. That'd be nice. Just like hit circle to stop other alarms or something. Because I'm trying to enjoy the fight here. It's still 100 metres out. This is going to be a big fish. This is going to be a big one. Seventy five, seventy eight, starting to come in. Just up that reel a little bit. Still fish boshing out all over the place here. I'm just gently winding. I know they say pump the fish, pump the fish, but I don't want to push it too hard. This is this is a good fish. I think it's a cat. I've just seen its tail. Oh thank god it's come off. That other that other rod came off. Whoa. Nearly had a bit of a moment and I had an itchy eye. I was itching my eye and oh this this is a good fish. This is a very good fish. Don't want to lose it now. Come on. But keep seeing its tail. Must be quite big. Little blip in the graphics or something now. Seeing its tail without a splash. Quite interesting. Come on. Yes, get in the net. Look at the size of that. Oh my days, look at the size of that catfish. Oh, look at that. It's the snake, it's a 50 pounder. Oh my god, that is awesome. And I caught it on video for you guys as well. So, I think I might end my little fishing session right there guys. With a 50 pounder from St. John's called the snake. Absolutely love it. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, guys. Look after yourselves. Take care. Peace.